How you doing? Steve Downs, the voice of Master Chief. Ask me anything. So we opened that up a couple of weeks ago to take your questions and you could ask me about anything. Uh, and to say that we got a lot of responses, that would be a little bit of an understatement. So we're going to try to tackle as many of these as we can. We probably won't be able to get to all of them, but uh, we'll do as many as we possibly can. Some of them, the questions were of a similar nature, so we could sort of combine those and, uh, and, and give you an answer in that. So uh, what I've decided to do is break these down into three different uh, categories questions that were uh, sort of of a personal nature about my personal life and as much as I wanted to <laughs> share that with you. Uh, and then questions that regarded specifically Halo and Master Chief. And then questions that uh, were about my voiceover career in general and my radio career and that kind of thing. So in this segment, we're going to deal with the personal stuff, such as it is. And the first question uh, was from Sebastian Ayrton. He said, um, we know so much about your career, but we barely know about your past. So my question is the following. Where did the younger version of you envision your future? And how did you end up taking that path? Uh, that's a great question. And I, I've, I've thought about this a long time. Uh, I, the younger version of me uh, all, always wanted to be, I think, in some form of the entertainment business. Uh, you know, my original uh, sort of fantasies involved uh, uh, being a singer in a rock and roll band, as they say. And, and, uh, I, and I started out, I was in a rock band from the time I was 12 years old. Uh, all the way through uh, junior high and high school and, and uh, into college. So uh, I, I think that's where, and, and, and then also that was in combination with my love of music, specifically rock and roll. Uh, and from there led into radio work and, and, and you know, the, the, the course that, that followed. But um, I think those were some of my earlier designs. And as I've often said, you know, be careful what you wish for. Uh, because a lot of times it comes true and it certainly has for me so uh, that's I, I think where I thought I was you know back in those days it was you know very much of, of a fantasy uh, and then uh, Sebastian's follow-up question is who and and or what influenced you to become the man you are today any figures you looked up to or any books that shaped uh, your mind obviously you know my parents were uh, you know a big influence on me and and uh, you know helped to guide me and and really helped me to, to find my own path I think I remember when uh, when we, when I had the rock band when I was 12 or 13 years old and we would we would practice in our basement and on Friday nights you know I mean we weren't the Beatles <laughs> it didn't sound all that great but my mom and dad would would put up with it and I thought you know that was uh, my mom used to say well at least I know where you are uh, so, you know, I, I was uh, e eternally grateful that that was the case. And in terms of influence, I mean, it really was, uh, you know, when I look back and to think of my single biggest influence or the person or persons that set the course of my life, it would be the Beatles. Um, because uh, when they played on Ed Sullivan that night, my life changed in every way you could possibly think of from the way I thought from the way I looked from from the music and the styles that I liked it, it all became a different ball game uh, at, at that point and um, it, they were the single biggest influence on my uh, on, on my life um, you know going forward um, books I, you know I started thinking about the very first book I can remember reading something that was outside of what you had to read in school was uh, Hunter S. Thompson's Hell's Angels. <laughs> and I don't know, I don't, I'm not sure it was an influential book, but uh, although I think when I got done reading, I thought, yeah, that'd be cool to be a Hell's Angel. And, you know, of course, the more you looked into it, the, <laughs> the riskier proposition that became. Uh, but um, much later on in life, a really big influence was um, Scott Peck's uh, The Road Less Traveled. That was a, you know, sort of a big, uh, deal uh, in, in terms of ha helping me form a philosophy uh, in my life um, and and then also the works of uh, Joseph Campbell all about the hero myth and and his his book hero with a thousand faces um, 
you know, that certainly influenced me. I think maybe subconsciously in how I approached uh, voicing Master Chief, because Master Chief is certainly, um, you know, in that hero sort of, uh, of uh, uh, class. And I, I think the way I, I sort of thought about his backstory was, uh, you know, sort of drawing uh, on Joseph Campbell's look uh, at, at the hero myth. So Sebastian, I hope that answered your, your questions. They were really good ones and a great way to start out. Madlax wants to know, what's your favorite type of music? And if you had to guess what the Chief's favorite music is? Well, in the general sense, we ta I talked about this in the last question, you know, rock and roll was a, was a major influence in my radio career, it was entirely you know, uh, rock and roll and, and what became known as classic rock. But I really like, you know, I, I like all kinds of music. I, I, I think, uh, um, you know, with a few exceptions, uh, you know, not a big fan of opera, <laughs> you know. Uh, you know, rap music, I, 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 don't, I wouldn't call myself a big fan, although I appreciate, I think, the good stuff. But, uh, but, but really rock and roll in a general sense and, and uh, jazz, classical, I love classical music. Uh, so I, I try to maintain sort of a broad palette, try to stay contemporary as much as I can with, with what's happening, you know, um, you know in, in terms of new music. Uh, and what type of music the chief likes, I think that's obvious. Heavy metal. Thanks for the uh, for the question there, Mad Lags. That was good. Uh, Cherry Wave wants to know: Do I believe in aliens? Well, hell yes, of course, <laughs> I believe in aliens. Uh, it, you know, whether or not we will ever come in contact with them, it's a mighty big universe out there. Uh, and as much as I used to think, you know, when I was younger, that well, it was only a matter of time before we cross paths with another intelligent life form, uh, when you really start to get an appreciation for how big the cosmos is, uh, it, that, that may not happen. And the other big question is, will we survive long enough to, uh, to, to contact or be contacted by other intelligent uh, life out there? I think that's my biggest worry is, is you know, there is a theory about why uh, we have not crossed paths with intelligent life is that intelligent life reaches a point where it self-destructs. The, the technology gets to the point where for various, uh, you know, reasons of hubris or, or uh, you know, ego inflation, whatever you want to call it, that we end up destroying ourselves. Uh, and, and so that, that, that's just sort of a pattern that keeps getting repeated over and over again in the cosmos. I know that sounds pretty uh, uh, pessimistic, <laughs> but it is, you know, it is my concern that we can hang around long enough and, and sort of develop the, um, you know, the Star Trek uh, uh, utopia uh, is, is, is what I hope that, that we can finally, uh, you know, find ourselves attaining to as a, as a species. So thanks for the question there, Cherry Wave. And then finally, from Chuck WTF, whose voice would you choose to narrate you know, your life, my life, dead or alive? Uh, two names come to mind immediately. Keith David, uh, who I'm a big fan of, and of course, he's the voice of uh, Arbiter. Uh, a tremendous talent and a great set of pipes, and he knows how to use them. And also, Lee Schreiber, uh, actor uh, and and also great voice talent. I love his work, especially uh, in narration. So, if if if, uh, if that would if ever come to pass, if either one of those guys were uh, doing the voice work, I'd be I'd be quite pleased. So. That's our first segment on Ask Me Anything. We will have a lot more. Thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Chief out.